what I like about hunting in Mexico is, you know, it's kind of got a really old school vibe to it. Yeah, just the camaraderie of these guys, they love to hunt too. Around every bend of the road, there could be a 200 inch deer. Those big, dark horn bucks that just come out of nowhere. The traditions of the outdoor sportsmen are more important than ever, and it's up to us to pass them on to others. Two families, one passion to inspire the next generation of ethical hunters and conservationists, continuing the legacy of hunting and fishing in the outdoors. down here in uh, Sonora. Day one of the hunt. Our good buddy, pal, one of my best pals in the world, old Caleb. We're gonna go see if we can kill some big mule deer today. It's been uh, about three years since I've been back to Mexico deer hunting, and so we're gonna see what we can do. Jump up here in these high racks, and maybe find us a deer, do a little spot and stock maybe. Uh, my buddy Kevin from Reno is here with us. Uh, he's gonna go after a coos deer, so see what we can do today. Looking forward to it. Glad to be back. Getting a little chilly, so we we pulled through a gate. So I grabbed my I grabbed my jacket out of my backpack, and uh, and we barely turned the corner. Uh, everybody got back in the high rack, and we maybe went 20 feet, and they spotted this buck. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. That was quick. Beto said that was a good one. Very heavy. He's got a kicker. He's heavy Mexico mule deer. So. Man, I don't even know what to say. This is like, this is what you come to Mexico for. So <laughs> I wouldn't kind of lost for words right now, man. That was pretty cool. Like big old heavy deer, double eye guards. Just beautiful, beautiful Mexico mule deer. So. Now it's Joey's turn, so I get to hopefully watch my kids shoot one. Thanks, <laughs> brother. <laughs> This is how the movie start I, I see all the time. Coos, you could? A good one? No. He had eye guards and he was just like a forking horse. We saw a little elder buck 
coming back tonight. Coming back, yeah. We saw right by that old wagon there. I think probably four deer in the 170s. find ourselves a coos buck. It's been pretty scarce. Nice mule deer down here. But, uh, pretty tough to find a little coos buck. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, we came around the corner, this little guy was sleeping. No moss. <laughs> <laughs> This is my first coos deer, so pretty excited. Thought he was a pretty nice one to put on the wall. Good job, brother. <laughs> uh, my last deer to shoot that I needed, so pretty happy. Well, it's raining. A lot in the desert, but what do you do? Can't do anything about the weather, so we're gonna go eat breakfast and hopefully it dries up. Go slop around in the mud, I guess. raining super super hard started last night about midnight it, uh, it hasn't really quit but it's let up a little bit so we're gonna try to go out there and see if we can find Joey and Caleb a buck and, uh, we're, uh, see what happens
well, we got stuck last night in our high rack, and then they came to save us, and then the other high rack got stuck. And they brought the Ford Ranger to help, and then he got stuck. And then so we had one truck left, and then they've been working all morning to try to get. They got this one out last night, and they got the other two out this morning. So a um, little cloudy this morning, supposed to clear off. No more rain, so hopefully uh, Joey can get something on the ground today. Driving down the road here and seeing a group of does and kind of they kind of busted out and ran away and well after we sat there we seen a, a buck uh, I think he was a three by six had split twos and threes you know we were going back and forth there's a couple bucks with him and you know deciding like oh was he big enough trying to see because we never got a good look at him and then 